Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today I am driving the Hinatuga Ridge Road, I think is what it's pronounced, in the Smoky Mountains National Park. This is a, uh, a loop road, uh, part of it is paved, part of it is dirt road, and uh, the first part is an extension of the Blue Ridge Parkway. So that's where we're at now, and uh, we're going to check it out. So come along! <music> In this video, my wife and I drive a spur off the Blue Ridge Parkway and explore the Hintuga Ridge, Balsam Mountain, and Round Bottom Roads in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We started on the Blue Ridge Parkway at milepost 457, where we turn north onto the Hintuga Ridge Road. This initial part is a beautiful little drive with lots of pullouts to see views off in all directions. In short order, we came upon a herd of wild elk grazing along the road. A bit further and we crossed out of the Blue Ridge Parkway and into the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The road here remained smooth and freshly paved as we made our way up to the Balsam Campgrounds at the highest point on this route at 5,440 feet. Shortly after this we reached the end of the pavement and began a 17 mile mostly one way dirt road adventure through this remote part of the park. The road was in great condition but weaves around in a mix of gentle turns and sharp switchbacks through beautiful hardwood forest. As we reached the furthest extent of this road, we reached the trailheads for the Palmer Creek Trail and the Balsam Mountain Trail before beginning the long winding route back to civilization. The road became two-way again at Beach Gap Trailhead, and from there we followed along the beautiful Straight Fork, Raven Fork, past many rapids and small waterfalls, on its way to the Cherokee Indian Reservation. This absolutely beautiful drive finally ended near the terminus of the Blue Ridge Parkway in Cherokee, North Carolina. I highly recommend this beautiful drive. Come along with us and check it out today. It's amazing. Wow, that's beautiful. Mile high overlook, 5,250 feet. Smoky Mountains. Gorgeous. The Maggie Valley View. The Unaluska Overlook, 5,034 feet. along the road. Very nice. Look at the antlers growing on that one over there. Yeah. Pretty bluebells along the hill there. Wildflowers today are lovely too. So pretty. So here the sign says Blue Ridge Parkway, and that's because, and that's off in that direction. That's where we just came from. And now we're going off this way and we're entering the Smoky Mountain National Park. Oh uh, yeah, on the other side of this sign it says this Great Smoky Mountains National Park. So, officially entering the Smoky Mountains National Park. At least this part of the road is nice and freshly paved. It's nice and smooth. 
no, it won't stay that way. We'll eventually run out of pavement. <laughs> Ooh, waterfall. This is the Balsam Mountain Campground and Picnic Area up here on top of Balsam Mountain. So we are at 5,370 feet. Campground's off that way. All right, we have reached the Hintuga Overlook and Picnic Area. It's uh, picnic areas over there. I think there's an overlook you can hike to. But uh, we're gonna go around the little loop here. Flat Creek Trail, it says, is there? And there are restrooms up here if you need. Hintuga Round Bottom Road. One way, no re-entry, Cherokee is in 28 miles. No, it's uh, not, it's only gravel for part of it. It does get pavement again once you get back to, I think, the Cherokee Indian Reservation. Mm -hmm. to wash the car when we get out. <laughs> There are peekaboo views out through the trees. This time of year with all the tree cover, there's, uh, it's hard to see much. I bet this would be a very different place to come to earlier in the spring before the trees have leafed out, or late in the fall when they've fallen.
Trail. Pretty hollow gap trail, little Catahoochee, Catalucci, and the Catalucci Road. Alright, we are at a trailhead right here. The Balsam Mountain Trail. Beach Gap Trail, Mount Sterling Ridge Trail. So this is the furthest out this road goes. I think from here on we kind of work our way back towards civilization. So <laughs> off we go. We've come 16.4 miles from where we started to get to that uh, point back there where the trailhead was. never know what's around these corners. just saying how peaceful this drive is. It's very much like hiking. <laughs> just hiking in the car. This is Ledge Creek that we're driving alongside of here. Very pretty. Water coming in on the other side over there even. There's some pretty laurels blooming right along here. We have reached the end of the one-way road. Now it becomes a two-way road. So now we have to worry about people coming at us from the other direction. Yeah, see that was the uh, other what backwards. So this is uh, 21 miles from where we started. We're at the Beach Gap Trailhead here. Here's a nice bridge. Straight Fork Raven Fork, my map says. I don't know why it has two names. <laughs>
just so pretty, you can't stop filming. Leaving the National Park here and entering the Cherokee Nation. And, uh, we're just about to pass underneath the, uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway. So that will be the end of our loop from where we left the Blue Ridge Parkway to uh, this is right at the terminus. So this is the last bridge on the Blue Ridge Parkway right here. Blue Ridge Parkway is going over top of us there. And it ends right across the stream over here. All right, that was the Hintuga, uh, Hintuga Ridge and Balsam Mountain Road loop in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. That was really cool. Highly recommend it. The road, although it's unpaved, is easily passable to any car. Um, no problems at all. There, there were a few potholes, but they weren't serious. I think we had worse potholes than that on the Blue Ridge Parkway yesterday. So <laughs> it, was a, it was a very beautiful drive. Highly recommend it check it out. Thanks for coming along with us and I'll catch you next time.